Is there a question you're trying to answer as you move through life? Yes, there there are many questions. I don't think I can just narrow it down to one, but I think especially right now as I'm coming towards the end of a chapter where I'm finishing my master thesis, I'm really just wondering like what is my place in this world? Like what? What am I what's my role? What am I supposed to be doing? Who can I help? Like yeah, what's my place? That's kind of really messing my, with my head at the moment. <laughs> and I'm very busy thinking about big picture things. Yeah. And and at this point, where what's your your kind of journey with with that question up until this point? Well, I think today was the first time I voiced it out loud to my dad, who's an architect, and I'm studying architecture. I said, I'm not an architect. And that was the first time I said that out loud. I'm not an architect. I may have studied for it for a very long time. I've worked as an architect, but that's not me. So, of course, that's like a bit scary because I've spent the last 10 or so years thinking that was what I was going to be doing. And now I'm kind of, yeah, trying to figure out what else I can do with the skills that I've acquired, with the knowledge that I've acquired. But, yeah, I'm not really sure yet what that means. What the hell did that feel like to say that out loud um, when kind of partially identifying as that up, up until this point? Super terrifying, but also really freeing, like a huge weight falling off my shoulders, I guess. But yeah, scary, very scary. There's a, there, It's a very loaded thing. I mean, like the fact that my dad is an architect, there's always been a pressure, I think, for me to follow in those footsteps. It's something that I spent the last 10 years learning. So there's the pressure of like, oh, have I wasted my time learning this? And also, you know, my future, like how will I be earning money or what will I be doing? So there's like a lot weighing on it, on this identity of an architect. Um, But it also feels freeing because I finally was able to admit something to myself that I guess I knew for a longer time than I thought, but just saying it out loud felt very freeing isn't that like i find that such an interesting part of life like the way things can be simultaneously like scary and then really relieving as well like i don't know from my perspective it's um even stepping away from finance although i didn't know what the hell i was going to do next um and i knew i really didn't want to do that anymore i still felt really um I don't know, to show up in this world and not have like a one word answer for what do you do or what are you like, do you know what I mean? Like to, when people ask me like, even now, what are you doing? And I'm still like kind of fumbling, uh, coaching and I do this podcasting and I do this writing stuff. Do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. when, when I don't have, even though I feel very alive with what I'm doing, it's, it's amazing. I think from my perspective anyway, how even if we're not attached to it anymore, or even if we don't want it anymore, not having that one word, I think, is, a, is it's almost like a security blanket. Yeah, of course. And it's it's got so many reasons for why we feel scared. I mean, there's the way we've been socialized or brought up, you know, that there's just only one thing out there for you, or you just kind of follow this one direct path. Um, and then there's also, I guess, just yeah not being able to define something or just you know there's a lot of multi-hyphenate sort of people out there and I didn't even know what that meant for such a long time because I thought you know you can only do this one thing and be an expert at this one thing and that's what you stick with but um, I feel like yeah we just we're in uh, generally as a society I think we're, we're kind of coming around to the fact that nobody's path is just this linear thing into the future but it's all over the place and that's okay.